we go to the next topic and the next topic will be the lubrication of some bearings, bearing blocks and uh, plumber blocks that is also sure it's, it's uh, very common in logistics also. Well, uh, uh, from people that uh, were here in uh, enjoying our basic refresher course, you know already that kind of plumber blocks Tom will focus on, okay? And <clears throat> we have here our standard plumber blocks and we have one who we cut uh, to see what, what is inside, okay? So we have this double roll roller uh, bearing and uh, the, the lubrication is not only for the bearing, but also for the gaskets here. Okay. And the, when by doing lubrication of that kind of block, you should have here on the shaft, both sides, some grease coming out. This will be the best and will indicate that it's working well. What do we want to do here uh, at this third topic? is to, to show you again how to install our Simalo. Uh, it's maybe a repetition for a lot of you, but it's always what Tom and myself uh, uh, have as remarks or that we see what the pro problems that we see that sometimes uh, when we have problems, mostly it's uh, application or installation problem. So first of all, if you have uh, a block like that and you have the, the greasing nipple, the standard greasing nipple that is on, right? You have at first to clean, just little steps, okay? To clean, okay, before removing, then uh, remove the old nipple, okay? Good. Then we have to put our reduction on. For that, we do you know we have we have our rail. I hope you can see the different. Uh, maybe about the, yes, it's okay, Tom. Yeah, fine. Thank you very much. So you have to choose the right nibble to put it on. I have it here, and we use some sealant on the nipple. We screw it on. Yes. Okay. We screw it on. Lock it slightly. Like that. Fine. Then we have our Sima loop. Here, for instance, a 15 milli. Pardon me, or a side. 15 milli. Okay. We have, of course, to note the activation date. Don't forget this. Uh, many times when we get some uh, back sendings of Sima loop that people say it doesn't work, we don't have the activating time. And uh, we always think how the people does know that it had been activated at this time or another day. It's maybe some, sometimes strange. Then, uh, of course, before doing all the, the, the physical uh, assembly, the physical mounting, you checked in your car pro the size and the setting of the Sima loop. That's right. That's good. Then you activate the Sima loop and you just screen on. This is for assembly. Okay. On, on this kind, on this kind directly mounted here, there is no problem about that uh, about back pressure. Normally not. If you have, if you have a remote or a longer uh, application, longer tubings, of course, we have to at first. Put our our greasing nipple, and to take our 
rescan and pre lubricate okay if you have to push very hardly don't don't mount the seam loop there is no way that the grease can in we have what we call back pressure and back pressure this is what we are faced the most when there is some problem okay back pressure is always what we tell you when you are here on basic refresher we have to feel that the grease is going in or the lubricant is going inside if this is not possible by hand slowly with the grease gun done don't put the seamer loop on it will not work at first you have to see why we have the back pressure of course back pressure is is uh, is coming out naturally as longer as the lines are and as higher uh, uh, energy rate of the grease are so sometimes you have to choose uh, liquid grease for example sl06 depending also on back pressure this can also be one of the solution for back pressure okay uh, especially on on the order uh, <clears throat> bearing blocks that i would like to show you we have these ball bearing units that are very often uh, or very common in our logistics okay we have these bows i will just take that away so that you can see it we have these bows this kind of of plumber block with these units and you have you have the spherical uh, assembly of the the bearing i will try to get it away oops like that you can dismount it like this and you have the flange bearing like that it's exactly the same thing like that but is a flange and you see this is a wide quite bigger one but as you can recognize it maybe we have here this is uh, this big thread for put the greasing nipple. And on the bigger one, huh, that's very nice, very nice. We have a little M6 thread. Okay, so this is strange, but this is depending on the manufacturer. When we put a SEMA loop on that kind of unit, at first we do grease here, we do lubricate here inside why right here we have a little bit a spherical movement like that in order to compensate shaft alignment problems a little bit okay and the second if we have to lubricate also the ball bearing that here is inside the problem is that you can maybe see on the camera if tom can focus a little bit on and I will try that you can see the best. I hope it's it's okay, Tom. Okay, Tom, tell me that, that the quality is not too bad. And you can see here that little hole here. Okay. It may be a diameter of 1.5 milli. There is no way to get energy to greases in. Then you have to use a uh, fluid grease as for example, SL06. We strongly recommend to use SL06 for these kind of, of units that are very common, very, very common in uh, logistics. Okay. In the, for the supervising of the greasing, lubrication, oiling, everything, please do not forget to use our WOM app you can put all your your lubrication points on okay not only when you use the impulse connect you can use also you can put it also when you use a single uh, seamer loop so it helps uh, you and your especially your customer to keep to manage the all the all the lubrication points with, with, with these two installations, uh, we have two possibilities that we can uh, put SEMA loop on a bearing 
on the left side, we see that we have mounted it directly onto the bearing. Uh, on the right side, if there is not enough space, so always think of that you can do a short remote installation. Please keep in mind the maximum distance um, for the SEMA loop as we do not have enough pressure to go like three, four meters. So therefore, uh, it's a half meter with the SEMA loop um, itself. What we used here, quick connections, tube, quick connection, and then um, some fixings with uh, possibly here with a magnet or maybe directly mounted to, uh, to the metallic part of the conveyor belt itself. Another uh, remote installation possibility, these two holes here, um, the drillings, there, there was a, a, um, a protection uh, cage in the front. So whenever you need to go inside such a machine, uh, keep in mind that you can also re, um, take it outside for remote installation so that every time you need to do any manipulations on the SEMA loop itself, then you do not need to take off the whole cover. So that means you can do all uh, the, the change or the checkings from outside. Here, another example, uh, Mark just mentioned before, whenever it becomes to a, an example M6 uh, hole on the bearing itself, uh, with our reduction, it might be go too deep into the bearing itself. So please keep in mind that you, that you use here in this area just a small washer so to keep distance and to keep um, the connection out of the bearing so that we do not break it before it was uh, running possibly the first time. <laughs> 